Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the source code of any website. Let's jump in. The very first thing you do is to go to your Chrome browser, this is mine right here, and then you type in Chrome extensions. Once you're in, click on the link right there and search for save all resources. Okay, once you have that, and it should give you this result right here. That's what you want. You can add this to your Chrome right away. So let's add this to Chrome and add extension. That's okay. And that is sorted. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to now go to your favorite website. Let's say it could be any website at all. Let's say this is mine, okay? So go to this website, and then what we do is on the website, you right click and you go to inspect. It gives you these little results. Once you're on this page, you can um, scroll down here to see all. Oh, that is displayed here and then in the elements you have the console next to the elements you also have the sources right here you have the network the network next to it and then on this arrow here you click you find a list of items here choose last when it says resource saver on yours it might be the second one but just click on resource saver click right there it leads you here onto this page Please click all these boxes, tick the boxes. Once they're all selected, you can see the website reloads. And once it reloads, you can click or select save all resources. Select right there. And you can see it's, it needs to download. Okay. And now you can see that it's downloaded to my computer. Now that is done, I'm going to go here and see my folder where it was downloaded to, and that is it right here. What I can do is I will simply right click. I'm on um, Windows, by the way, on Mac, I think it's double clicking that resolves that to extract the files. So I'm going to go to extract all and do that, okay? So I've done that already and the files are stored in this folder right here. So extract your file and let's continue. So mine are here, as you can see, this, these are the files extracted. The next thing I want to do is go to a code editor, right? Let's go to Visual Studio. That's mine. And then we'll click on open file. So open file, and then you go to the folder where that item is stored. The files are extracted. They are stored in this folder right here. So let's click on this. And then go down to where it says the website name here, double click on it, it opens up this, and then you should click on this index.html. That's the file you click on. You open. And you can see here that it the file or the say the uh, code appears on your VS code. Okay. Right, so now you have this right here. What you should do next is go to your, your extensions here and click on run, code runner, okay? That's code runner. And make sure that you have this installed. Mine is already installed, okay? And what's the code runner? Is this button right here? You need to have the button right here, okay? And then you can also click on something else which is live server. So you do live server, okay? And then you install this as well. The next thing you install is open to default browser. Let's open in browser. Let's type in open in browser. So you can install this item as well. So once that's done, you can click off and click in here and go to the top of your screen to the left and you can see view click on view and then you find where it says command palette that should be the first option you can get this as well by clicking on control shift hold on a second 
you can get this by clicking on on Control Shift plus P. So once you do that, you can still get the same command palette. So click on this and displace this little window right here. Click on where it says open in live browser or open in default browser. Click right there. And there we go. This is the website that we just got the code for. So what we did here is that we got the source code for the website and now we have the website here. So we can use this as a base for our website to clone this one and to get our website from this one okay and it's very easy to do guys it's just it's exactly the way i've shown to you but there could be problems sometimes i'm going to show you a small scenario here that's slightly different let's say you have tried the same thing let's do for facebook okay let's go to facebook let's go to facebook and type in where's facebook let's go to facebook here this is facebook right here okay and let's do the same thing okay let's load facebook let's close this refresh now we're on facebook on the home page and then we're going to click we're going to right click and click on inspect do the same thing do the same thing and then go down here go to from console to sources to network to this right here i will click on resource saver and then we'll click on all these boxes right here. And then we'll also go ahead to download the file. Okay. And that is reloading and downloading. Okay. It's still downloading. Right. So here is the file downloaded. Okay. We're going to try the same thing with Facebook. And now I'll tell you something which is very important when you're doing this because it doesn't work for every website, okay? So you need to understand that when the um, the designers have stopped that from working, have blocked that pathway, you cannot get the source code anymore. But for anyone you can get, you can definitely clone from the website. So if you go to my VS Code right now, let's open a new tab, a new file, okay? Let's open a new file. Let's do this. Go to a new window, okay? And then we can open file here. Let's open file. And we'll go to our Facebook. Before this, we need to extract first of all. Let's go to our downloads folder. Our downloads, and we'll see that we have Facebook here. Let's extract it. So this is the problem. When you try to extract, right? See right now, it says the window cannot open, okay? Sorry, or the folder cannot open. And the issue is because um, the file is not valid. Now, this arises because it has been set up this way. So in this case, it's going to be impossible to get the source code, right? Except by other means. But by this method, it's not possible. So just know where, know why this problem comes up and then you can resolve it using different methods, which I might show you in next videos. Okay, but basically this method is only for ones that you're able to extract the files. Okay, so right, this is the video and um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and bye for now.